Subsequent expeditions to the site uncovered tiny silicate and magnetite spherules embedded in soil and tree resin. These microscopic spheres contained elevated levels of nickel, a classic indicator of extraterrestrial origin. Analysis of peat bogs in the region also revealed a distinct layer dating to 1908 with higher than normal concentrations of iridium, an element rare on Earth but common in meteorites. These findings strongly support the hypothesis that a cosmic object entered Earth's atmosphere and exploded, leaving only trace evidence of its presence. The Chelyabinsk meteor in Russia, which exploded in February 2013, provided a modern analog. At about 20 meters in size, it created a powerful airburst that shattered windows and injured over 1,500 people, demonstrating on a smaller scale how a fast-moving object can release enormous energy in the sky. Scientists now understand that such airbursts can flatten forests, create shockwaves over hundreds of kilometers, and produce bright, lingering atmospheric effects without leaving a crater. Debate continues over whether the Tunguska object was a comet composed mostly of ice or a denser, rocky asteroid. Some models suggest that a cometary body would account for the bright, glowing skies observed across Europe and Asia for several nights after the explosion. However, most recent analyses favor a stony asteroid, based on calculations of density, entry angle, and energy release, which better explain the pattern of destruction observed in the Tunguska forest.